perspective, we have the ability to find shadows uh, in a mechanical sense that are mathematically correct. And I want to take the opportunity today to show you how to do that. So there are two uh, different terms that you're going to need to know in order to move through this episode. So the first one is going to be uh, the radiation point, and the second one is going to be the light source. And I'm going to show you where these two points are so that you'll be able to find them <clears throat> uh, and exactly what they look like. So let me go ahead and make the first example here. When we draw, we're going to be looking for uh, a specific line. The light source is determined by you, the artist. You're going to go ahead and set up a line upon which the top is going to be right here. The top is going to be your light source. Now, this can be an artificial light source, uh, say like a light bulb in a home. It can also be the sun if you put it up high enough. Uh, usually that's going to be universal lighting, so it's going to be a bit different. Um, but you can go ahead and make it a light source if you put it high enough. It's just kind of difficult on traditional medium. Down here you're going to have your RAD, or what we call the radiation point. And the radiation point is sort of where we draw, um, where we draw across to find the light source. So let's say we have the side of a wall right here. It has to touch the ground. The radiation point is the ground of your picture. So let's say that we have a wall, for instance. If we have a wall, you're going to grab from your light source, which is what shines light, and you're going to go to the ground, but intersect through the top of the wall. Now the radiation point is going to move outwards. Now notice that I am moving the radiation point. Usually it goes directly from the bottom at all times because it would create a blue line that would overlap with the surface. Uh, I just wanted to sort of cheat a little bit and bring it up just to show you. Um, really the shadow is on the ground, but just to show you that it moves in this direction, the light moves from the bottom in that direction, that way you can see. So the point upon which this intersects is going to be right here. And that's where the end of your shadow is going to be. So that gets very important later on. So let me go ahead and do uh, another example real quickly so that you can see that. And then we'll go ahead and move on to a more practical sense so that you can see how that works within a picture. So this next one that I'm going to do, uh, that I'm going to do is going to be a bit more uh, three-dimensional. So you're just going to go, I'm going to go ahead and bring this out just to show you, oops, go ahead and create a line. And so to show you how this works in a three-dimensional space, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to bring up a line. It's going to be the top, it's going to be our light source. And I'm going to go ahead and in accordance with this, as if this is going to a vanishing point very, very far off in the distance. We know that all lines converge, so I'm going to change it just a little bit, just slightly. I'm going to go ahead right here. I'm going to draw a bottom. I'm going to draw up right here or so. Oops. Like so. And I'm going to go ahead and draw upwards. So from right here right here and this is going to be the side of a wall so if we have a side of a wall right here now in perspective how we would go ahead and find uh, the shadow if this were a side of a, an object and the blue line represents a wall so to show you what that would look like more clearly the wall would be going straight up and it would be moving straight outwards in that direction um, to show you what it looks like, you're going to go ahead, when you cast a shadow 
onto a wall. You're going to go straight to this crease. If something intersects, you're going to go straight to that point. We're still following the same rules. The radiation point, or AD, is expanding outwards like an arrow in these directions, intersecting the bottom. And the light source up here is going across the top. And so what you're going to do, if we reach this crease, well, what is light going to do? Well, light is going to move upwards. It's going to move upwards. And so how far up is going to be determined by the top from the light source. So we're going to go ahead and pull this right here. We're going to go across the top, up. And if we went straight up, we would find that what we were talking about earlier, it's going to be a bit higher. So this is why construction lines are nice, to be able to find it exactly as you move straight up. And so from this, it's going to go across. You're going to, it's going to slightly overlap because of the position. Okay. And so if it were lower, then it would have a, a different pattern. So let's say that we brought the wall down a little bit lower. If we brought the wall down lower than it already is, in this case, let's go ahead and do that. Because there was a little bit of overlapping. If you go ahead and make a new surface right here. Well, now how is it going to work? Well, you're going to go ahead and intersect. So it's going to go down here. It's going to go out. It's going to be pretty low. You're going to go ahead here. It's going to be about there. And you're going to draw a line from both points, connect it. That's going to be your shadow. So here you have your, your wall, and if you grabbed a marker, for example, and you decided to sort of shade it in, we'll make it a little bit thicker. Your shadow would be this whole area. That is what you just cast behind. And so you wouldn't draw over here because the wall is actually blocking that. So just as this point right here, this radiation point is moving outwards, right? This light source is also moving infinitely in this direction. And so if there were no wall, if this blue wall didn't exist behind it, well, then the point, the shadow would be cast right there. But since there's a wall, we move straight up. And that's how it works when we intersect a surface and so really this is moving infinitely in that direction and so is this but we intersected another object which is behind it um, in the last demonstration I'm going to gonna go ahead and show you a two-way surface so let's go ahead and get rid of all this real quickly Okay, in this case, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna create my light source and my radiation point. So this is my light source, radiation point. It's always nice just to, uh, if you can, identify them. Uh, just keep it that way. Go ahead and draw a line. Uh, I'm gonna have it intersect this in any direction. It's gonna be rather arbitrary. Okay, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and create another line. Let's go ahead and make it somewhere around there. Okay, so that's moving off on the other side of the distance. So I'm going to go ahead and um, create two walls, two surfaces. This could also be characters. They could be anything. They're just meant to represent. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to draw from the top through the top onto this line. Okay, because we want it to go in this direction. So the light source moves out in all directions regardless 
of um, regardless of where you where where it is, right? It's going to move out in all directions. It's a uh, it's it's universal in that sense. So then you're going to go ahead and you know that the radiation point is on the ground, right? So the radiation point's moving out that way, and it's intersecting the bottom in that direction. Go ahead and bring this out a bit more now that we know where it's at. And we can tell that because of this, although they may be going in infinitely in these directions, as is the light source moving down, as is the light source going down, they're intersecting right here and right here. Okay, so I'll move that over just a little bit so it's easier to see. So that is, uh, that's how light sources work and that's how radiation point works. You're casting a, a shadow. That's what you're doing, right? You're, you're casting a shadow. And so how you determine that is from the light source and the radiation point. And where those two intersect is going to be where it's at. And as we showed, if it comes across a surface or another body, uh, that shadow will then be cast. It can move upwards. Um, it can move further out. And so in later examples, I'll be showing you how you do that. So I hope this clarifies things and makes casting uh, shadows in light a little bit easier in your drawings for you.